Disneyland bills itself as the happiest place on earth, and millions of people visit the California park each year. Most of these people go home with stories of fun rides and happy memories, but some people go home with stories of ghosts and strange occurrences happening in the park. Since its opening in 1955, people have died in the park, and some people say that some of these people still linger around the happiest place on earth. Today, let's take a look at three ghost stories from Disneyland. Mr. One Way is more than likely an urban legend that was made up to scare younger children, but there have been some legitimate claims of seeing this specter on Space Mountain. Some people say that he is a red-haired man with a red face, some say he's a child spirit dressed in 70s clothing, and some people just describe seeing a shadow figure. The stories say he tends to hang out in the queue for Space Mountain, although whether or not he talks to people while waiting varies depending upon who you ask. Some people say that he has been seen riding in empty cars with other people, but this could be a different spirit. Many people have made it back to the station with a look of pure terror on their face and all that they could say was, he, he was sitting next to me and then he was gone before they go running screaming out of Space Mountain. Apparently the haunted mansion is really haunted. I know, who would have guessed? The story goes that a mother spread the ashes of her son on the haunted mansion ride without getting the park's permission and ever since then the spirit of this young boy has been haunting the ride. People have reported seeing him at the end of the ride crying for his mom, riding in their buggies, and at various parts of the ride. People have also reported seeing him on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, so it sounds like his spirit is stuck wandering the park for eternity. This is a sad story that is historically true and tragic. In January of 1984, a woman nicknamed Dolly fell from her seat while riding the Matterhorn at Disneyland and was killed when she was struck by another oncoming bobsled. Her seatbelt had been unbuckled and it was popular for people at the time to try and climb out of their seats to sneak onto the ride. Unfortunately, Dolly hasn't been the only death on the bobsleds, but she is more known because people still see her from time to time. Cast members claim to feel like someone is watching them as they walk through the ride, and people have reported seeing Dolly near the section of the track where she died, which has now been called Dolly's Dip or Dolly's Drop. There are many ghost stories from Disneyland in California. These are just three that I found particularly interesting. If you would like to see us talk about some of the other ghosts at Disneyland, leave a like on this video and comment below. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for more. We try to have multiple videos posted weekly, but I'm Jake from Fight Paranormal. Have a great day, everyone.